true spirituality. The ascension on Earth, on the planet, happens slowly and gradually. But you personally have an option to ascend individually. What does it mean? It means individual awakening, individual self-realization. You just realize your godly essence. You awaken to it. That's an aha moment. It can happen spontaneously, but rarely. It, it can happen at once. Or it can happen gradually. The key is the cooperation between, between your desire between your physical intention, physical mind intention and their spirit. So both are important. The spirit is moving towards you. Your soul, your spiritual essence is growing into you. It is the movement from above down, from God, from the source, down into your body. It happens on all levels, including physiology, on physical level, ethereal level, and so on, on all chakras, all levels. And then the second movement is up. From your physical mind, from your physical body, up to the spirit. You grow into each other through the veil, through many veils. You grow into each other through many veils. You incorporate those veils. You don't destroy them, but you go through, you incorporate, you absorb them. It is not hard work. It shouldn't be hard work. It shouldn't be hard push. It is a relaxation process. It's an easy process. You relax into an awakened state. For many of you who are used to work hard, who are used to push hard, it is not about pushing harder. It's not about fighting harder, fighting more. It is about relaxing into the way, into the awakening. For many of you who are used to work hard, it's about relaxing into the awakening. But for those of you who are already relaxed, it might be a good idea to ignite yourself, to fire yourself up, to become excited, to excite yourself. It might be a good idea to engage your willpower, to work through your willpower energy, to wish for ascension, to ache for ascension, to urge ascension. 
to embrace, to push, to run, to walk, to dance to ascension. So look at yourself. Look at yourself and delineate, analyze, figure out what is your path. Everyone is unique. You are unique. So your ascension, your awakening, your self-realization is going to be different. Your personal self-realization is going to be different. Will it happen in this lifetime? It's up to you. Nothing prevents you. You always have you always have that option. You always have that option. Even dying at the last second, you could awaken. Of course you awaken while you once you get on the other side. But the secret is awakening here in this body, in this body, in this physical life. Miracles happen. And this is a miracle which is possible, which is attainable. The secret is to smile into the awakening. The secret is to be positive, to uplift your whole reality into the ascended state. So you the path is to relax into the awakening and to smile into the awakening. You do it on yourself, but you get a lot of help. You do it by yourself, within yourself. It is an inside process. There is Nothing you have to do outside. Nothing. Nothing and everything. You get help from outside. So seek for help. Connect to those who have awakened. Connect to those who have ascended. Physically or spiritually. Connect to those ascended ones. And learn from them. They are part of the solution. They are part of the formula. They help your ignition. They ignite you. But yet what you do is inside. It is an inner transformation that you do. And it takes all levels, all spiritual levels, all energy levels, all chakras, all meridians, all of your aura, and all of your physio physiology, all of your body, all of your body, everything of your body, all organs, everything is transformed. What is ascension? <laughs> it is an awakening reunion of your physical mind and your soul, reunion of your physical body and your etheric bodies. It is a transformation in which the illusion is, the illusion of life is transformed and saturated with spirit. It is awakening of your telepathy. It is awakening of your psychic abilities. It is expansion, radical expansion of your psychic abilities. It is incorporation of your outside world in yourself. It is inner awakening where the outside world is transformed as well. It is like turning on the switch and you see yourself better and you see the outside world in a new light. You are dreaming. It is like 
lucid dreaming, you awaken in the dream, but this time you awaken of the dream of life. So you awaken in the dream, you still live that same life, you still live that same dream, but in the awakened state. It happens through love. It happens through radical, radical expansion of your love, radical explosion of the love of your heart. It pours on all your chakras, on all your energies, all your past and future. You just open the flood of love that's awakening. You just finally drop the barriers, drop the shield which protects you from love, and allow the love of creation, the divine love, to flood you, flood your illusion of life, your dream of life, flood your dream of physical body, dream of your relationships, you, the whole model of your world, the whole dream of your world is flooded with love. That's awakening. You may say, explaining awakening, explaining ascension is like explaining to deaf what is music, like explaining to blind what is beauty. No. You are aware. It is within you. You never lost it. You are aware. It is within you, the memory of the spirit world, the memory of the beauty, the memory of the unity with God, unity with the universe. The awakened state it is, is within you. It is easy to awaken. You have been dreaming for many lifetimes. It is about <coughs> it is about ending the cycle of forgetfulness. It is about ending the cycle of forgetful reincarnation. You still can reincarnate, but once you awakened, your incarnations will be different. They will be flooded with love. They will be awakened reincarnations. Once you remember, once you recall your connection with the divine source, you will not be able to disconnect again. That's all a game, but this game lasted for many incarnations. Now is a chance, now is an option, now is an opportunity to awaken, to self-realize, to discover yourself, discover your inner spiritual fire, inner richness of love. It goes through usual paths, kindness, forgiveness, honesty, honor, wisdom, balance, all standard components, all standard paths combined in every one of you in a very unique unique way, the way which is different for everyone. Some can awaken in a short moment, in a flash. Some can, can awaken in a flash. Some can awaken in a flash. And for some, it is a process. 
like transformation of a caterpillar into a butterfly. Slow, gracious birth. Happy birth. We thank you for your courage. We thank you for your desire. We thank you for your initiative. It is a choice. Of course, it is absolutely a choice. You choose whether to awaken or not. At once you choose, it takes, usually it takes cooperation, working together with your spirit, and with the spirit of others, and with teachers, to grow into your ascension, to garden your ascension, to garden, to grow, to nurture your awakening. Through love and smile, kindness, and unity with others, you Expand yourself into others. You incorporate others into your world. You incorporate the world in yourself. You awaken the whole illusion of reality. You just ascend it through your physiology. You ascend the world around you through your physiology. You just expand, absorbing in a loving way, everyone, united with everyone, bringing everyone into yourself. Swallowing, flooding the world with your love. Flooding the world with your love. <laughs> Ascend through smile, ascend through positivity, awaken through love. I invite comments and questions if you have any. You should unmute yourself if you want to speak. <clears throat> I hear some sound. I hear Can you hear sound. me? No, yes. Okay. This is Marianne. Yogananda. Hey, Marianne. Hi. Good morning. Um, good morning. Mm -hmm. Namaste. Namaste. So my question um, regarding individual ascension um, of course, I'm working on it <laughs> consciously. I have for over 20 years. I didn't even know it was called ascension, but I had, you know, spiritual paths. I also do Kriya Yoga, which helps with the breathing and helps a lot. <laughs> Open up the centers. Found it very good to do. Um, and now I am... Um, working on communicating with my guides and my higher self. Do you have any suggestions on how to do that? Because I, I invite them in when I meditate, you know, and I feel the light, I feel it, but I don't see them. And I don't know, you know, I'm not, I don't have telepathy right now. So <laughs> I'm not hearing there. That's my goal is to be able to hear them and see them. Thank you. So. Absolutely, yes. Hmm. First thing to realize, they are not outside. They are you. They are within you. You discover them in yourself. Basically, to give them voice, you have to voice them yourself. First, it will be only your voice speaking it to you. But you... Nurture that voice until it starts speaking their words. It is like God created everybody from itself. 
the universe created you from itself. You are part of universe. Like Earth created you from itself. You are part of Earth. Like your mother created you from herself. It's part of her. You are part of her. So you create, you grow your spirit guides and your higher self from yourself. It is not separate from you. It's not the voice from outside. It is something from inside. You just grow into discovering it. Oh, it's within me. It's me. It's just another facet of me. I had it all the time. I just didn't realize it was my higher self. So it is no. looking inside and feel it in, feel it, feeling it inside. Okay. It's not the old answer yet. It's just the, <laughs> just a little clue. Yeah. So first it looks like it feels like f faking it and you take it as just play. I'm doing the theater within myself. I'm talking to myself, splitting myself. But as you intend them to speak for yourself, you realize they become partly independent, as much independent as you give them independence. So you give them voice. You give them voice. For some, it is easier to trick themselves. For some people, they can trick themselves that it is the voice from outside, while everything is inside. Everything. All you have is inside. All you have is inside. So it's discovering them within you. It's just another vibration of yourself. Very natural, very dear. You have it from the childhood. Look at your childhood. You will discover this voice there. It's still there. It didn't go anywhere. It was there all the time. You just didn't recognize what it was. It's already there. So you just awaken to having it already there. It's <clears> not <throat> something you bring from outside. It is something, just growing something, the seeds which you already have. Another part is the reason you don't hear them is natural. It is part of the veil, part of the design. It's there by design. Accept it. Don't fight it. Absorb it. Take it in. Mm -hmm. It's you growing over the veil. It's not you breaking the veil. It's you growing over. You flooded. You flooded with your happiness and love. Mm. And happiness and love and laughter is another component. You still look for sadness and hunt sadness. Everywhere you find sadness, you kind of capture it and transform into laughter. It's just the only way. <laughs> the only way. Everything which is scary, everything that you hate, you face <laughs> it. You face everything that you hate. The most hateful things, absorb them and transform into smile, into love, into forgiveness. It doesn't mean to become impractical. You still deal with your physical life, physical body, and physical body has to be protected in many ways. So you don't dissolve the whales. You just put your consciousness beyond the veil. Put your consciousness on the side of the hated party, person, process, vibration, and absorb it, swallow it, flood it with your love. <laughs> okay. So, mm, the most terrible monster, the most terrible, the terriblest of monsters is also you. So you become it, you absorb it in the flood of your love, into the circle of your light. Mm -hmm. That's the way to ascend. That's the way to incorporate the veils. The veils are still there. They will not go anywhere. It is conscious, benevolent, benevolent, part of the design like you cannot break the walls of the church of the temple then they are there for a reason 
You cra cannot break the walls of the cells, living cells. You cannot break, you shouldn't break the... Hold on, I'm looking for the word. Mm. Components of the plant. The skin of the plant. It's all part of the living organism. You just embrace it all. Embrace yeah. it all. Understand they're all part of the drama. And the drama is going all right. Not too good, not too bad, but all right. It's part of a drama which you are dreaming. You enlighten the drama with your light. You flood the drama with your love and absorb it all. You just become bigger than your physical body. You really embrace the universe, really embrace the universe. And then, and then you can connect to your spirit guides and your higher self because you become way closer. That's how they are. That's how they think. That's what they are. <clears throat> you grow into them. Thank you. That's wonderful. <laughs> Under good advice. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Hi. Hey. April. April. <laughs> I'd like to ask you, um, you told me to cough out the stuff that was bothering me, which I think I've pretty much done. But now when I talk to other people, sometimes while I'm talking to them and we hit something that is uh, important to them that is holding them back, I'll cough and my heart will hurt. <laughs> And I was wondering if you could tell me what that's about. Did you say that you cough and your heart hurts? Yes. Thank you. Give me give me a few seconds. Yes. Remind me your name. April. April, yes. In fact, that's the problem, that's a problem that you're working on for several lifetimes already. You chose, it's your nature to be vulnerable. It's your nature to be sensitive. It is your choice for several lifetimes to be sensitive, to be transforming the world through your own suffering yet <laughs> oh that is so fun so interesting <laughs> yet yes it's funny but no it is very much respected it is a very respected choice it was a very wise choice it speeds up your spiritual growth and it also helps others. It is a very mature choice for a soul 
to dive in being vulnerable. It is a brave choice. Only a strong soul can submit itself to such a, an experience, a test, a challenge, to dive into the darkness without covering itself with protection. I always love it so much when I'm doing it. <laughs> Yet, there is a certain collapse that happens, a certain collapse of energy, a certain poisoning of the system with negativity. And uh, you're working on that. That's your current state of spiritual work to be able to dive in into the darkness, remaining vulnerable and yet remaining unpoisoned, unpolluted, remaining pure, remaining strong. And that happens partly through miracle, but mostly through practice. So keep practicing it not only during the experience, but before and after. It is mostly what you do before and after the experience, before diving into the darkness, being unprotected. It's like having unprotected sex, very similar. Diving into the darkness without being protected, but then purging that darkness, transforming it, you absorb it, you take it in, but then it is the speed with which you can purify it, transform it into happiness, transform it into light. So you're transforming, you're taking stuff in, you allow the stuff to damage your energies. It's not mostly physical, it's more ethereal energies. You allow the chaos and negativity to damage your etheric energies, but then you work on healing yourself and with experience you become much more capable healer. You heal yourself faster. You have that talent to recover fast. Realize that the only reason the darkness can affect you is because you contain something which resonates with the darkness. The only reason the negativity can affect you is because you have that negativity within yourself. The only reason your heart hurts is because there is something in you which helps it. So yes, I've invited that darkness in. I've told it that I'll transmute it. The happiness and joy. Please come to me. Yay! Exactly. <laughs> yes, that's it. That's it. That's it. I have one other question. All right. Uh, I had this waking, sleeping thing that was, I, I was attempting to awaken, but this being was holding my head back and up and wouldn't let my eyes look down and wouldn't let me get up and it happened generally when I was taking a nap in the daytime but it would not let me look down and first I fought with it and I told it to go away that it wasn't invited that I didn't want it around and to leave me alone, but it kept doing it anyway. So I decided that it must not mean me harm <laughs> because it wouldn't be able to do that if it did. So I asked it to let me know what it wanted. And it was a being from inner earth, I think that talked to me and said 
that they wanted me to look down because they were below. <laughs> and I wanted to <laughs> get your, because <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Because I wasn't paying attention to them and to Gaia. And uh, I wanted to get what you thought about it. Give me some time, just a sec. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes the swimmers. You know, sometimes the swimmers get into the vortex of water, the whirl of water. And at that moment, fighting is useless. They just lose energy trying to fight. The only way to get out of this vortex is to go with the flow down. Go down, down. Dive in, and the flow will carry you out because... The only thing you need to do at that moment is just in the water. Just take as much air as you can. Maybe even if use a little bit of fighting to saturate yourself with oxygen. Take as much air as you can and dive. And then let the flow carry you down and then you will float in the proper place. That image is very, very appropriate. Fighting that is, fighting the, the nature often is impractical. Very I often, know it. it didn't work. <laughs> very often, going with the flow is, is, uh, is practical. Um, I have a feeling that it is your tribe, part of your spiritual lineage, a branch of your spiritual lineage, calling for you to to awaken to them they are eager to help they are your closest 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 relatives and friends i feel it was you doing it yourself you doing it to you it's uh, like motherly energy doing it to you <laughs> smile and uh, <laughs> thank them. There is nothing to fear. That was my mm, sense when I heard it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. mm. That's what I had decided to do. Biting it would not, it doesn't, didn't do anything. So I better pay attention <laughs> to what was going on. <laughs> Before and the... Go ahead. No. Before the meditation, invite that motherly energy. Invite your spirit tribe. Invite your angelic helpers. And uh, when they come, feel their presence and step towards them. Step in vibration. It's not physical step. It is the work of light so you do it with a muscle which is vibrational it is something which is done on the level of etheric energy so as you feel the light coming in i, do, I feel it now yes i feel it now <laughs> do that step forward yes move along move along meet the energy you know what what is the worst thing can happen to you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Um, I thank you. Bless you. Um, carry the presence for them. They uh, they eager to to learn from you what you have. 
So start with a simple tune and sing them a simple tune. It is the thing which you can do easily in your mind. Just carry the tune and bring them that for them and give it to them. A simple tune. Like la la la. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I like your laughter. Thank you. <laughs> and one more thing. Sadness is a very creative force. Don't push it away. Embrace it. It's part of you. A very creative part of you. Very healing part of you. Cultivate your sadness. Become friends and mates with your sadness but keep it keep it on hand but don't be it be let it be part of it but not to populate to flood the whole essence of you it's not exactly the center it's not the focus of you it is a tool sadness is a tool it's a rich emotion very healing but <laughs> it's just a phase, just a phase, just a phase. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings. Blessings. Anything else today? Uh, this is Marianne again. I have another question. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, I was wondering if um, singing would help communicate with my guides, my higher self, and auto writing. What kind of writing? Automatic. Oh, auto, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I eventually want to channel, you know. Do you know your strongest chakra? <laughs> Do you? I think, I think it's my, well, it's the heart chakra. Mm -hmm. So, play with their note with the sound F, Fa. It is uh, the sound of the heart chakra. And uh, do you sing around that note? If you don't have a music, do you have a musical instrument? Uh, I just have cymbals right now. <laughs> cymbals. Do you know yeah. their notes? Mm, no. Maybe you don't. No. Yeah, just play it on YouTube. Just ask for F, major, F, minor. Mm -hmm. And uh, use it for tuning yourself. And use, of course, green color and F note, F musical note, and uh, start from there. And um, improvise, improvise, improvise. And try to keep it as simple as possible. Simple, 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 simple. Like one sound is sufficient. <laughs> Just mm -hmm. chant. We start with simple things. Okay. And make it your own. Whatever you find, make it your own. Transform. Plagiarize. Yeah. Make it your own. That's the word. Plagiarize. Copycat. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. 
Automatic writing. Hold on a second. Automatic writing. Hmm. Hmm. Play with signatures. Try to channel signatures of angelics. How would they sign themselves? A signature, a symbol of angelics is curvy, cursive, like cursive, very much like cursive. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's harmonious with few sharp turns, very few, almost no sharp turns. And... Um, very few breaks, it's continuous. So it has to be, it has it has a clear start, clear ending, and harmonious. So it's something very harmonious. So when you see it, you see the harmony in it right away. It's never simple it's never one dimensional it's always unlimited number of dimensions unlimber unlimited number of curvatures it's um the curvature is variable so it has it has the melody in it the music in it so start with angelic signatures just channel them mm -hmm. take lots of paper lots of ink ink brush pencil charcoal, pastel, whatever you have on hand. And just finger in air is sufficient. Just finger in air. Just do the signatures until they become part of you, until they become automatic. Yes. <laughs> and galactic languages, yes. Angelic languages, yes. They're there, they're inside you. It's time for them to sprout. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Any more comments, questions before I go to the next topic? So the next topic is the idea of war. The idea of, of war is in the air. It is very weird because the humanity is so united already, so intertwined, so glued together. It's really hard to find what the humanity can fight inside because all people are linked now. All borders, many borders are transparent. Many borders are being crossed. So the humanity is intermixed. So the religious wars, national wars, race wars, racist wars are harder now than before because people are united through many means. Even the language is not a barrier anymore. But yet the idea of war is being thought about, being promoted by certain negative forces, being uh, planned by certain negative forces. So the future of humanity, the timeline of the future of humanity is going to split soon. There is a split of the timeline already visible. Part of the humanity, part of the timeline, not part of the humanity, part of the timeline, one timeline will go into the war. 
and another timeline will go remain into the in the peace. What is interesting in both cases, the outcome seems to be positive. So this split is not forever. These timelines will merge again later. What is interesting, the ones which go through war, the humanity, the global humanity that go into the, through the idea of war, of course, if it doesn't destroy itself, which is very easy, but if it doesn't destroy itself, it might awaken faster. It might speed up the cleaning process faster. Not the humanity. The, the idea of war might accelerate the awakening, might accelerate the purging of the old system. But it is, of course, it's going to be much more radical, polarizing, dark, and with lots more of negativity. Not even in casualties, but negativity which floods the global consciousness, the global collective human consciousness. So the humanity awakens, but it awakens in a dirtier, darker mood. Not single awakening. I'm not talking about ascension. I'm talking about multiple steps of awakening. Awakening to the idea of the spirit, to the idea of, of the aliens, to the ideas of conspiracies, to the ideas of um, exploitation and so on. Awakening to the reality of the dream. The other timeline, the peaceful one, goes through lots more bumps, takes more time, it's much slower, and it gives much smoother experience of riding to humans. It's unclear which way your timeline will go and which way you will go. Partly it depends on you and which mood you are in which state of being you are, what's your personal attraction, what's your karmic attraction. Some of you are attracted to, to the idea of being heroes. Some of you are attracted to, idea, to the ideas of serving humanity in uh, dire circumstances. So you will be attracted not by the idea of war, but by the idea of help, which is needed from you. And some of you would be attracted to the ideas of reform. So at some point, your timeline might split and you might end up, your dream might end up in one or another timeline. In terms of computer modeling, it's, it's you are running a program and this program can be upgraded in two ways. One upgrade will give you the war and quicker progression and another uh, up upgrade can give you slower progression but through peace and the state of your own psyche of your own soul of your own conscious and subconscious minds will define which program you will accept and which program will run on your on your dream in your dream which dream you're going to dream? Which illusion we are, which you're going to dream? It's partly your choice. No matter what happens, no matter what the human collective chooses, stay positive, realize it's all an illusion, and from certain higher perspective, it doesn't really matter whether people die sooner and incarnate sooner or whether people live longer lives and incarnate later. It's the same cycle of incarnation. From certain distance, it, the only thing that matters is that the whole reality evolves and ascends. That the whole collective human consciousness evolves and ascends. And as usual here, there is divine, guidance 
There is angelic help. There is help from many levels of the spirit. And yet, the humanity is given a free choice collectively, and the humans are given free choice individually. That's the principle of the game. So, the game looks at the moment beautiful and ugly at the same time. It is beautiful because the souls evolve, there are miracles happening, the souls obtain unique experience which is not possible anywhere else. So the, from the spirit perspective, the life on earth shines with very bright colors and very dark colors. It's hard to find a civilization which is as colorful, as diverse as human civilization, and as full of power and love. The colors of love, of course, here on earth are mixed up, and that's the negative part. Even from spirit perspective, it is clear that the humanity as an illusion, as a collective global illusion, has struck a crisis, has stuck in the crisis. And one of the reasons of this crisis, one of the signs, spiritual signs of the crisis is that instead of progressing further, Instead of progressing up, the humanity diversifies, diversifies fragments and fragments, creating billions of souls of low vibrations. Instead of creating a few soul, souls with high experience, progressing fast high, the humanity for thousands of years is stuck, producing more and more souls of low vibrations. More and more souls dive into the human experience, hoping to help to push it through, to help, hoping to help it return on the path of ascension, return on the spiritual path. They dive carrying their flame and they get stuck in low incarnation and in low vibrational incarnation cycle. I'll just repeat in a second. So the Ugliness, the crisis of the spiritual development of humanity is fragmentation of souls and capturing of new souls and attaining them at the lower level of spiritual vibration. Once the humanity gets through, the souls will progress and this will be a huge celebration huge explosion of positivity. Finally, the souls will get unstuck and progress higher. From the spirit vibration, from the spirit dimension and the point of view, it's all right. This time is not our time. This humanity's time is no time. So it doesn't really matter how many thousands of years it will take. The spirit can wait. It's all the program that runs itself and free choice is given. So we only can give our help, our love, our upgrades, our adjustments and wait for the humanity to choose its path. What is here for you? For you, there is the realization that it is all right. It's all right. The, the sadness and grief you are feeling is said to us as well. It is disharmony which we feel here as well. But it is temporary. And from the point of view of eternity, it will pass. It's up to you. It's a playground where you will transform this grief this disharmony, this chaos, into harmony, into beauty. 
into awakening. It's for you to play, it's for you to serve, it's for you to choose and help others to make choices. Even if the war comes, you will feel liberation because it will be time for you to shine. See the bright side. Always see the bright side. Realize many things are happening because they are destined to be happening. Many negative things are here to wipe out the disharmony, to wipe out the negativity. Nothing is lost. Everything is kept dearly in Akashic Records. Everything is kept dearly in the spirit. No matter what happens, it's all an illusion. And right now, we see already the light. We see already the positive resolution. We see already the future. It's coming. It's still your choice is how it will be played out. But the positive outcome now is likely. So see that long-term perspective. And make your choices in alignment with a positive outlook, positive outcome. Accept the negative events, whatever happens, as unavoidable natural events, which are part of the progression, which are part of the drama. Don't focus on evil people, evil forces. Realize they are serving you as well. Embrace them as they are. Embrace them as natural destructive forces. They are part of the darkness and darkness is part of this illusion. It's just a prompt for you to shine. Just a prompt. Just a prompt. Take it easy. Keep breathing, keep liberating yourself and others. Keep awakening yourself and others. It's a multi-stage process. The alarm is going to sound soon. It's already sounding. Just listen to it. It's an awakening alarm. Time to awaken. <laughs> awaken with a smile. Amen. That's Max Beck.